Hey guys and welcome to Robo Circuits. This is your host Prashant Sharma and you may have seen one of my previous videos where I make a battery powered temperature humidity sensor with an ESP32 and the battery we used there was a 3.7 volts 500 milliamp power lithium ion battery. Then I realized I don't have anything to charge that battery. So I decided to make a battery charging circuit for that module. When I was searching for a lithium ion battery charging ICs, I came across this IP2312 IC and I am really fascinated with it. And also one of the requirements for that battery charging circuit was it should have a type C connector. Protection features are the most essential part while working with a lithium ion battery because higher voltages can damage the chemical process in the battery which may cause the lifetime damage for the cell. Here are some features of this IC. You can pause the video and read them. Now let's create a PCB design using Altium Designer for the circuit. The circuits, Gerber files, BOM files and much more are uploaded on Altium 365 which is also the sponsor of this video. LTM 365 lets you engage with your team on electronics projects. You can share designs, get reviews and work efficiently while designing any electronic circuits, printed circuit boards or doing circuit simulations and much more. If you go to my website, I have given a link to the LTM 365 where I have uploaded all the project files. Now I think it's time to order those PCBs. First of all, we will go to seedstudios.com, then we will go to services, PCB code, let's wait for the website to open, yes, and here we have to add our Gerber files. So you just click on add Gerber files, select where your Gerber files are and upload them. Now the Gerber files have been uploaded. If you want to see your Gerber files, you can click on Gerber Viewer, which is also integrated in Seed Studios where you can view your Gerber files. So this is how the PCB is going to look. You can check the top as well as the bottom like this. And let's go back to the screen. Here we have base material options, which is FR4, and we can also go for aluminium and flexible PCBs as well. Then you can select number of layers, PCB dimensions are already filled. And then you can select whatever you want, like the color, the thickness of the PCBs, your solder mask. Scene Studios also gives PCB assembly as well as SMT stencil options. Right now we only have to order the PCBs. You can see the production time is only 3 to 4 days and it is as cheap as $4.9. Now you can click on add to cart. Now we just have to click on check out securely. Then we have to fill out our address, make the payment and that's it. It's that easy to order PCBs on Seed Studios. In just a few days we will get our PCBs. Let's wait for a few days and we will check how the PCB looks. And finally, I got the PCBs from Seed Studios. I must say, the quality of the PCB is perfect. The color which I chose is perfect as well. Now, the only task left is we have to place the components on the PCBs. And as you can see, most of the components are SMD. So first of all, we have to apply some solder paste, then we will place the components and using a heat gun, we will heat the PCBs and our components will be soldered. That's it. And I must say the quality is really, really good. And I would like to thank C Studios for sponsoring these PCBs for this project video. So let's assemble the PCB. The PCB is completely assembled as you can see here we have this IC and then on both sides we have two LEDs and we have capacitors, resistance and some other components. As you can see right here in this part 
I have soldered two resistance in series because I don't have the one which was placed here. Now we can plug this thing with a Type-C data cable and our battery terminals on this side then we can charge it. So in a recent video I uploaded a project with this thing. This is a wireless temperature and humidity sensor with an ESP32 and this one is a battery power sensor and the battery I soldered here was this and I forgot to charge it and right now let me show you how much voltage is it so right now it is only 2.9 volts and that means it is below average let us charge this battery which is a 3.7 volt 500 milliamp power battery with our type C LiPo battery charger in order to do this we just have to solder the ground pin on the ground like this and then the V bat or the plus to the V bat and now we just have to take a type C cable and now you can see the LED start to glow that means the battery is being charged once the battery will be fully charged the LED here will glow and the charge circuit will cut down the charging let's wait for the battery to be charged and we will come after a few minutes it's been a few minutes uh, let us unplug this and now we will check how much the battery has been charged I will put one end of probe on ground and other on VBAT. You can see it is now 3.2 volts. From 2.9 volts within 3 to 4 minutes, it has been charged up to 3.2 volts. Now I will plug it for a little bit more so that I could charge it to about 3 4.2 volts. It may take 20 to 30 minutes. So this is a very simple and easy to make lipo battery charger and i think you can make it at your home also i will upload all the gerber files to the ltm 365 and i will give you a custom link you can go to that link and download the gerber files the gerber files will be also available on my website robocircuits.com and all the component list along with all the other files will be available there so i think this was it for this video a special thank to the sponsor of this video, LTM Designer and Seed Studios for providing the PCBs for this project. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.